Welcome to Mackenzie Creations. In this video, I'm gonna focus on my Kwanzaa download paper designs. And I didn't have a specific stamp and die set for Kwanzaa. So what I did was I took um, some alphabet stamp and die letters that I had, and I just die cut it, um, the letters Kwanzaa out. And I normally make my cards four and a quarter by five and a half, but the Kwanzaa um, word was too big. So I'm gonna try my first slimline card. Slimline cards are three and a half by eight and a half. And um, so what I did was I took um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and I cut it down to seven by eight and a half. And then you wanna score on three and a half. Now, I'm not that great with measurements. That's why I like my pre-score cards. But in some occasions, you just have to do the measurements. So don't let that deter you. Um, and so what I did was I actually um, cut down some layers. So I was thinking I would put my slimline card together like this. So this will be the base card right here. Let me move this design out the way. So this will be the base card. And then this first layer... I cut down is three by eight. And then the second layer is two and a half by seven and a half. So I'm just going down an inch. And then I was gonna use my Kwanzaa paper design. I just cut that to fit so that this will fit across like this. So let's get started with putting the cards together. Um, I'm going to actually start by gluing the layers down. Okay. I hope everyone is doing well. We have like two weeks until Christmas. So I'm pretty excited. So we're going to get this these layers down. And I like using a wet glue because you have, you know, time to move it around to get it where you want it to go. I guess this looks even. So we'll just stick this down good. And then I'm going to get my second layer down. Yeah, if you don't have a specific set, you know, just use what you have. Um, and you can always come up with some design so you can get the outcome you want. I think that's straight there. Um, yeah, this is straight. So we'll just hold this down for a moment. And then I'm going to get my Kwanzaa design layer on here. Last layer. And then we'll start decorating the card. All right, let's see the straight. Oh no, I got glue on the card. <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, glue on my hands and then glue on a card. So I'm just gonna wipe that down. All right, now. I think I put a little bit too much glue on here, but it's supposed to dry clear. So hopefully it won't mess up the card too bad. Okay. Yeah, I just went crazy with the glue here. <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to mess it up by keep messing with it. Okay. So let's continue on. Now I'm going to... I was thinking about putting the Kwanzaa letters down here. Um, probably have to space that out a little bit just to get everything on here. Nope, that's not gonna be enough room, so I'm gonna have to scoot these over some more. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go across the whole length of the card here. Let's see. Okay. 
Yeah, I think um, I was hoping to offset it a little bit, but we'll just go across the whole length of the card. Okay, almost done. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. Let's just want to kind of get it evened out. Does that look good? Mm, just a little bit more. Move this over a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Um, yeah, so we'll get these glued down. Um, yeah, we'll use a little tacky glue. Get these letters glued down. So. And these, um, these letters that I cut out, they actually came from the, um, these are Crafter's Companion. And these are called um, Balloon Alphabet. And so I'll just pull this out so you can see. And these are the um, actual alphabet dies here. Let me turn it this way. And then these are stamps. Now, I didn't use the stamps. I just actually um, used the die set to cut the letters out. But um, if you'd like to color with markers, you can um, stamp. You can actually um, stamp, color, and then cut the die out. Um, but I just used the stamp for this set or for this card. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this stuff down. Yeah, sometimes you just have to think outside the box, especially when you have like um, a holiday that maybe everyone don't celebrate, but you know, we wanna make sure that there's designs for everyone. Or for every holiday. So just a few more of these letters to get glued down. I think the card is actually coming out nice so far. Um, I kind of like to think ahead of um, what I want to do and prepare because when I first started making cards I would just sit down you know didn't have a clue of what I wanted to do and then I would get a little frustrated because it would like take a couple hours just to make one card so I found that um you know just preparing in advance like when you have a little time you know to pre-cut your dies out that works out really well because then when you go to put your card together you know it's not taking as much time so that's just a you know little tip and it, it helps me out a lot. Okay. We got one more letter. To stick here. Now let's see. I actually cut these candles out, um, but I don't know if I want to use it. I kind of like the card the way it is. I don't want to clutter it up too much. But what I did since I didn't have um, a stamp and die set, I just took the candles that I initially designed and then I put them all on one sheet of paper. And these were too big, but I just wanted to show you an example. So I like decreased this by half the size and came up with this size right here. And then I just fussy cut these out. So my, des 
my goal was to use these somehow in here, but um, maybe I'll just, let me see, play around with this. I don't know. I think that may clutter up the card too much. Um, let's just play around with these for a moment. Hmm. Well, that kind of looks cute. Um, now, if I did this, you would not be able to mail this. And then it kind of covers up my, well, let's see here. What do you think? I'm trying, I'm debating. I, I really like it the way it was, but I did cut out these little candles. Um, okay, I gotta make a decision quick here so I can go ahead and move forward with completing this card hmm yeah well you know what since i cut these out let's just go ahead and get them glued down yeah we'll go ahead and get them glued down hmm. okay i think i'm gonna use some tacky glue just so that they can raise up a little bit. And actually, since this is a slimline card, you know, when I, we can open it up and it can like sit on a tabletop. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get these stuff on here. Um, I should have got some glue dots and I don't have my, that probably would have been easier to use. Um, Oh, this glue was not coming out very good. Hmm. This glue. Let me just clean the top off. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. All right, let's get this stuck on. And actually, I probably didn't need to come the whole way up with this glue, maybe just halfway. We'll clean it back off in a minute. <laughs> okay. Just put a few globs on here. I gotta remember not to go all the way up so that it won't be on the back of the card. Okay. We'll do three red, one black in the middle, and then the other two green cards. I think I went too far up with this glue. And I'm getting glue on my hands, so it's getting on my paper, which I don't like. Just wipe my hands real quick. And we'll do the middle candle. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we just have to do the green candles and we'll be done. Oh, I'm making such a mess with this glue. The glue is not my friend today. 
So hopefully when it dries, it's not, it won't look too bad. Okay. Or another tip, if like you mess up with glue, you can just, sometimes I'll um, put little gemstones or something on the, you know, where I made a little boo-boo. You can always fix things. So just don't get discouraged. You're, you know, just keep, you know, just keep going and to get the desired outcome. Okay, almost done there. Mm. Trying to make these even. Okay, last candle. And next time I'll use the little um, dot adhesives. I think that probably would have worked out better for me. Okay. And then, um, so yeah, we're pretty much, oh wow. Now see, I should have spaced this out evenly. Let's see here. Mm, I don't know if I can move these over too much. We'll see. Okay, we're just going to go with this because it now I'm starting to make a mess with this glue. Okay. And okay, so we got these down. And then what I really wanted to do was like put a ribbon across. Um, I wanted to incorporate ribbon in this design, but I didn't have any red, green or black ribbon. Um, so what I decided to do, I just cut out these um, banners and I was just gonna maybe put a banner across here. I cut a banner out in each color. I'm going to stamp with the white and, and put happy on here. Is that the right way? Hold on, let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah, let's get happy stamped out on the, on the white banner. And this is the number um, balloon set from Crafters Companion. It goes along with the letter, but um, I think they were separate purchases. I don't know if I bought these together or was it separate, but um, anyhow, I'm gonna use the actual stamp with this one and they have like a happy stamp somewhere on here. Oh, here we go. So I'm just gonna get my stamp platform. Let me just move this out up a little bit. Okay. And where's my stamp? Here we go. Just get this on here. Okay. And I'm gonna use some Crafters Companion. And I always use the um, quick dry ink because it dries right away when I'm doing any type of stamping of the sentiments. So um, let's get this stamp down. Oh my goodness, I hope this is the right way. Let me just check. Is that the right way? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna stamp down here. Get this down. Came out perfect. Okay, dog. Oh, 
Okay, now I, since I didn't have the ribbon, I was thinking about layering these, but I don't, we'll see how it looks together. And for some reason, when I cut these out, they didn't, you know, they're kind of curled up and I don't know, I don't know why they're curled up like this. I think it was because of my folder. My die cut folder was, you know, when you start using them, they become a little warped. So, um, well, let's see. I like using all the colors here, so we'll try to layer them. See how that comes out. Okay, dokie. I hope this is the right way, yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna put happy on top of here. And then we're almost done, guys. Get happy on here. And that's what's nice about this wet glue because see I'm still fidgeting this around before it like completely dries just to get a good fit on here and I think because my paper is curled maybe I'll use some of this 3d glue we'll put that across maybe across here hmm, what do you think Um, yeah, I kind of like it if it was more flat down. So I'm going to just use some tacky glue. And what I'll do is I might have to, um, you know, after the video, let this sit down for a while so the glue can like really dry. And I'll put some weight on it, you know, I'll put something on here so it can like, you know, stick all the way down. Yeah, I like it that way, yeah. So after the video, I'll just, I'll probably just put my die cutting machine on top, just, you know, so it'll sit down and get flat. But for now, for the video, so we can get through with the card, you know, we'll just leave it like this for now. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll put a little rhinestone right here. I don't know why, but I just think the rhinestones are nice. I did buy these rhinestones from, um, these are from Diamond Press. So, and I, and these have glue on the back already. So these are really nice because with some of the gemstones, you have to actually, okay, if I can get this open, let's see here. Let me see if I can get this open. Yeah, with some of the um, rhinestones, you have to actually put glue on the back. But these are already um, have adhesive on the back. So you just have to pop them off and stick. And they stick on. Uh, let's see here. Oh, how cute. Okay, I'll get that back in later. Now this is a light green, so I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go with this black rhinestone here because it's light green that, you know, I don't have a dark green. No, I'll just go with the black rhinestone here. See if I can get this open. And these are by Diamond Press. Um, I also purchased some, some pearls. They have some pearl um, gems as well. So these are really nice. You just pull them off and stick them on. All right, let me move this out the way here. Okay, dokie. Yeah, I think this is cute with the two little rhinestones just to give it a little bedazzle, not too much. 
yeah, I think that came out pretty nice. You know, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do, but you know, I just kind of got all my pieces together. And I think my slimline, this is my first slimline card. So I'm actually, I, I think it actually came out really great. All right, guys, thank you and see you in the next video.